Hello, Screamer, and welcome to Scream Stream, your spoiler free guide to streaming horror entertainment. I'm James Gass. If you're new to the show, what I do is pick a horror movie from one of the various streaming services and give it a spoiler free review. Scream Stream is available wherever podcasts are served, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and many more. Just head over to screampod.com and all the links are there. If you'd like to support me and my creations, head over to patreon.com slash James Gass. You can pick up some horror themed t shirts from the Screamstream T Public store at tpublic.com slash stores slash scream dash stream. You'll be supporting not only the podcast, but indie artists creating killer t shirts as well. So it has been a hot minute since I've done an episode. I want to apologize about that. I've been very busy creating a lot of different things. Um, and I, I have neglected the podcast. I admit that uh, it is nobody's fault but my own. Uh, but I will say that I have been uh, doing some pretty cool stuff. I have uh, been doing a lot of streaming on Twitch, playing horror games. Uh, most recently, I've been playing uh, Alien Isolation, Dead by Daylight, which is uh, kind of like a, a four versus one. You have like a killer and then you have four survivors who have to start up these generators before the killer gets everybody. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of fun. And I've been playing uh, Dead Space and Cry of Fear, which is free on the Steam store. On the Steam store. And all the games I play are on PC. Uh, so if you want to check that out, uh, head over to twitch.com slash Jimbo Lewis. Uh, and I stream Monday through Friday, 9.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time until about 11.45. Uh, so that's been a lot of fun. Uh, if you want to support me over there, you can do that uh, right there through Twitch. Uh, so you don't have to go through Patreon or anything else. You just go right through Twitch uh, and you can use PayPal if you want to. Um, but yeah, it, if you don't even have to have an account just to come and watch me uh, play video games, uh, play these horror games, because I do talk about uh, um, horror movies and other things. I interact with everybody who's watching. Uh, so we've, we've built a pretty cool, uh, community over there on Twitch. Uh, so come check it out if you feel so inclined to do so. Uh, so this week's review is, uh, a movie that came out last year and, uh, wifey and I wanted to see it in the theater. We never got around to, uh, but it is called Hellfest. And for a brief plot synopsis. A masked serial killer turns a horror-themed amusement park into his own personal playground, terrorizing a group of friends while the rest of the patrons believe that it is all part of the show. This was directed by Gregory Plotkin, written by Seth uh, Sherwood, Blair Butler, and stars Cynthia Mercado, Stephen Conroy, and Amy Forsyth, and a few others. Currently has a five and a half on uh, I am on a. Uh, uh, IMDb. Uh, so let's, uh, <laughs> let's talk about this one. So right off the bat, acting is fine. Okay. I was, I enjoyed the acting. I thought it was good. Uh, however, um, the characters were boring. I did not care about the characters. I didn't care if they lived or died or, or what, uh, I just did not find them interesting like whatsoever i guess it it took like the whole five for five friends concept and just applied the same cliche to all of them and it it turned into something very predictable well i mean there's like one part of the end that that was a little different like i didn't see that one coming uh not at the very uh, i can't really say a whole lot there's a couple of things I did not see coming at the very end of the film. But the characters were very boring. The story overall was okay. Uh it's it's something that we've seen before. Like it's it's a slasher film, a very shallow story, not much to it. Uh, as a matter of fact, very little story whatsoever. And I felt there were some good comedic moments in there, which was nice. I thought that the, the the comedy that they had in there wasn't super cheesy. 
it was well timed and that's fine cinematography was good the look of the film was nice i i thought I, well i was glad they didn't use a whole lot of shaky cam that's for one thing but yeah just going back to the characters man they just were not interesting characters i just didn't care what happened to them uh some of the some of the characters i felt were a little annoying um, but I mean, that's to be expected. It, it is a, a standard typical slash or whatever. It was okay. It wasn't terrible. It could have been a lot better. My overall thoughts are this is a great popcorn film. If you just want to have a night with your friends over, um, not really get into anything serious, something where you don't have to pay a whole lot of attention to, attention to, uh, this is perfect for that. Uh, I, I feel like, uh, this is just one of those fun movies that you can chill out and hang out with friends. If you talk through it, it's okay. You're not going to miss anything. You're pretty much going to know what's happening by the end of the film. Uh, I thought it was okay. It's not bad. Could have been a lot better. The ending, the little twist ending was somewhat interesting. I mean, it was kind of like, oh, well, that's neat. Uh, but nothing special. There's nothing special here. I mean, it, it is what it is. It's a slasher. And you know the story. Same old, same old. We've seen it a hundred times. Just this is in a different setting, and they thought they could sort of give it a new spin by having it all done in a theme park where nobody knows what's happening. I feel like we've seen that movie before, too. I'm not, I can't really remember what it was. Uh, so there you go. I mean, there's there's the review. Not terrible, but. Uh, so for my review, or I'm sorry, for for my rating, I think I would have to give this like a, well, I hate to do it, <laughs> like a two and a half. And we re we rented this off of Vudu. And I don't know if it was actually worth the rental or not. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I would actually pay for a rental on this. I would probably wait till it comes to like Netflix or something like that. Uh, if you have HBO Now or Go or whatever one of those services it comes to wait till it comes there. Don't, don't, don't go out and, and rent the film. I don't think it's worth it. Uh, so yeah, two and a half out of five. That's, that's my, that's my rating on uh Hellfest. Uh, so let's get into some new releases because there are quite a few new releases that I do want to talk about and some exciting things on shutter, uh, but let's start with Netflix. Let's see, on Netflix, we have 13 Terrors, which is uh, Asian horror, uh, Tha Asian horror from Thailand. And Thailand does some pretty interesting stuff. I think the eye was from Thailand as well. So that's definitely going on my watch list. Uh, Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barber of Fleet Street, starring uh, Johnny Depp. Never saw that. Uh, I definitely do want to see that. A paranormal Investigation, which looks like a really low budget found footage film uh I, I guess if you want to check it out and let me know how it was uh, that is up to you then we have haunting on fraternity row from 2018 well, again low budget it's got a 3.7 on imdb then we have a clockwork orange not really horror but i mean it's one of those if you're into horror you're definitely going to want to watch it if you haven't seen it it's kind of like required viewing i guess for any horror fan uh, and then we have twin sanity i'm not really sure what this is uh, it's got a 4.9 on imdb it, it popped up on my notifications and i put it on my queue so i will check it out um plot synopsis is when a yoga enthusiast begins to pull away from her identical twin sister and business partner their lifelong bound bond turns deadly uh, i don't know if that's a netflix original i think it was no no maybe it's not uh, it looked kind of interesting, I guess. Uh, I'll definitely check it out and, and let you know what I think. Uh, if I don't do a full review, I'll at least, you know, kind of give my brief overview. Uh, oh, and then we have Apollo 18. This is a found footage film. Uh, this sci-fi thriller suggests that Apollo 17, despite official statements to the contrary, wasn't NASA's last manned mission to the moon. Uh, this, Like I said, this is found footage horror. I thought this was pretty cool. Uh, I know it got some negative reviews. It's got the 5.2 on IMDb. Uh, I, I liked it. I thought it was good. Uh, definitely going on my watch list for sure, or back in my queue. 
Uh, I have to give that one that one another shot. And that is it for Netflix. And then moving over to Shutter, uh, starting off with my second favorite film of all time, The Burbs, uh, starring Tom Hanks. If you have not seen this film, and I know a few people who actually haven't, uh, you definitely need to watch this. This is also available on Amazon Prime. Uh, please watch this film. Such a great movie. Uh, then we have Gremlins, which is weird to see on Shudder, I guess. Well, I mean, maybe not. I, I kind of, when I think about Shudder, I think about like really like hardcore horror, not uh, Gremlins. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, and then we have uh, Orphan, which I wanted to see. Somebody spoiled the ending for me, uh, which kind of sucks. Uh, Gremlins 2, uh, Puppet Master, The Littlest Reich. Uh, then we have um, Joe Bob, Joe, what is it? Joe Bob Briggs. He's doing another special coming uh, March 29th. That should be exciting. Uh, then we have Last Shift. I did really, I did review this on uh, the first season of Scream Stream. Really good movie. Definitely recommend that one. Uh, then we have a Shudder original, Lizzie, coming April the 11th. I'm not exactly sure. Is this about Lizzie Borden? Uh, I think it is. It reveals many layers of the strange and fragile Lizzie Borden, yeah, who stood accused of the infamous 1892 axe murder. Okay, yeah. So it's a Lizzie Borden film. It might be pretty good. I'll, I'll check it out and see. Uh, and then we also have Critters, a new binge. This is a brand new Critters film. Uh, if you have not seen Critters, another film, classic 80s horror, schlock horror film that I do recommend that you check out. A really good <laughs> series. Like, I loved all those movies. Um, so I, I'm, I'm kind of glad to see a new Critters out. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be any good, but... I'm definitely adding this to my list. I think I saw the trailer uh, and it looked kind of funny. So I'll definitely give it a shot and let you know what I think. Um, and then finally on, uh, on Amazon prime, there's a few things that I do want to mention. The first is the marrow. I don't remember or digging up the marrow. I don't remember if I mentioned this on the last episode or not. I definitely recommend this one. This is from Adam green. One of my favorite horror directors, uh, found footage film. Definitely check that one out. Uh, and then we have a desperate escape. I think, I feel like I've seen this before, but I'm not real sure. Uh, it's got a three out of five, which can't be too bad. Right. And then we have killer clowns from outer space. Great classic film. You've got to watch that one hunger. I think I did see this. I really liked it. Yeah, I did watch this one. Really good film. Uh, book of blood from Clive Barker. Excellent movie. I really, I really liked it. Um, uh, this stars Clive Russell, Sophie Ward, and Jonas Armstrong. Uh, this was directed by John Harrison, based on the short story Book of Blood in the Books of Blood. Vol I think it was in Volume 1. Uh, I really like this movie. I definitely recommend that you give it a shot. Uh, and then we have Lizzie. I'm not sure if this is the same thing that's on Shudder. Um, I wouldn't think so because, I mean, this other one is... Is it called? Was it called? Yeah, it's called Lizzie. Let me see. hang on. Let me see. Uh, stars. Oh, Kristen Stewart. Oh, okay. So it's definitely not the same thing then. Uh, but there's a film on Amazon Prime called Lizzie. I think it's about basically the same thing. Well, not basically. It revolves around the same story. Uh, but I think the one on Amazon's a little cheesier. Uh, and then we have uh quite a few Asian horror films. Hitokawa. The Killing Hour, Hair Extension, uh, Beautiful Vampire, uh, Five Dark Souls, uh, Hellraiser, which is my favorite horror film, uh, Alleluia, I think I, I don't remember if I've seen that or not, definitely going on my watch list, and that's going to do it for Amazon Prime. Uh, so not a whole lot of stuff out since the last episode, but there were there's a, a few gems in there that uh, you definitely need to go check out. Uh, again, I am streaming horror games on Twitch. If you want to come and watch me play and get the pants scared off of me, uh, I'm currently working away my way through, uh, um, alien isolation. Uh, and then I've been playing dead by daylight uh, tomorrow. So I'm recording this on Friday night, tomorrow, Saturday, the 23rd, March the 23rd, I'm doing a 12 hour horror stream and hopefully I can get this, uh, this episode out. 
uh, before then. But the stream is going to start at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I'm going to go until until I just can't go anymore. Um, so I've got like sub goals. My sub goal is like 20 20 subs this month, or by the by the middle of April, I think. So this should be a lot of fun. It's going to be a 12 hour horror game stream, uh, horror games all day long. There's a couple that I've uh, that I've got to play. One of my viewers there gifted me a game that I'm going to play called Case Animatronics, which looks pretty spooky. Uh, so I'm going to be playing that. I'm going to be playing Dead, Dead by Daylight, Alien Isolation again, uh, quite a few other things. So that should be a lot of fun. Um, if you do, if you didn't get to check it out, or if it's too late to check it out, uh, you can still come watch me stream Monday through Fridays, 9.45 p.m. until about 11.45 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time, that is. Uh, and I think that's going to do it for this week's episode of Scream Stream. Uh, if you'd like to keep up with me outside of the podcast, you can do so at ScreamPod.com. We can find links to all of my social profiles. And while you're there, you can listen to past episodes of the show and subscribe to the podcast via your favorite podcaster like Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and many more. Also on Google Podcasts. Uh, if you have a movie you'd like me to review, Go to screenpod.com slash contact, fill out the email form, and uh, or head over to facebook.com slash screenpod and uh, join the, the uh, Facebook page there. Uh, there you can send me a message and let me know if you if you have a film that you'd like me to review. Uh, and then, as always, music used for Scream Stream was created by Kevin McLeod at incompetech.com. Until next week, I'm James Gass saying, if it was real, the cameraman would be dead too. Good night.